guys welcome back to my channel so right now I'm at the Dollar General with my sister and she wanted to make a basket with what like water and snacks for Amazon other delivery drivers and we also might look for some decor so we're about to go into Dollar General Longhorn stuff hook em horns okay we found the baskets I'm trying to look $12, $10, you said they were cheap. I mean cheap for like home decor. These are for like my room. They have cube organizers here and end tables, what the heck? Arts and crafts. That's the one that you're gonna put the stuff in for the driver? No. Which one do you want? Do you want to look at Walmart? Yeah. But I like this one. That one's only $5. They have workout stuff here too. She just put back the basket. She made us come here just for the baskets and she doesn't even want a basket. This is kind of cute for $4.50. I like these. these they close. Oh, they're only $2.50. Some oh, jars. At this point, we're just looking at random stuff at the dog. It's hot. Okay, so we did not find anything in the Dollar General, so we're gonna go to Walmart and try to find some stuff there. Yeah, showed up like what, a thousand times since you rolled out of bed? Oh yeah, I got that shot. Turn. What side should we park on the home side? Yeah. You know, just park back there. Am I done? It says record. Click on my face to focus it. Oh, that's how you do it? Yeah. Okay, so we just got to Walmart and we're gonna try to find like maybe some baskets and get a couple of snacks and stuff. I'm actually not going to vlog because you're not really supposed to vlog in stores. And at Dollar General, they're kind of looking at us pretty weird. So we're just gonna go into Walmart and then after I get home, I'll show you guys what we got. Get home and put a mask on. Right there. Ew, that car's in the way. Okay, so if you guys can see that, the cheapest gas I've seen where I live is 111, which is pretty cheap might get under one dollar soon comment down below how expensive or what's the cheapest gas in your area okay so here's what we got we got this combo mix pack of some chips pretzels some popcorn some miniature water that's for our bathroom and then this is the basket we're going to put it in we also have some fruit snacks that we have here that we're going to add into that and make this basket and then my sister is going to make a sign to put in the basket. Here's just some other stuff we got from Walmart. So right now it is pretty hot in Texas, so we're only going to put this outside on the front porch whenever we are expecting a package. So in order to keep everything sanitary and clean, we're gonna put one snack and one water in a Ziploc bag, and the sign will just say, take however many bags you need. So Okay, so I just got back from Walmart and did all of the um, snack packages for the Amazon FedEx with Ever Delivery Drivers. It is 3.33 and I have not eaten a single thing today other than coffee and a fruit snack. So I'm going to go eat some 
breakfast, lunch, whatever you would call this. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys the bullet journal spread that I'm working on for the month of May. Okay, so for lunch, I made a veggie burger and fries, and I just have ketchup. Um, today is Sunday. I like to do laundry, so I'm currently washing my comforter. And I just like to usually watch YouTube or Netflix while I eat, so I'm watching this video from Raven Elise. And if you want to see how I made this, I posted a what I eat in a day as a vegetarian that I will link down below for you guys. So now I'm just going to kind of chill here at my desk. I'm still watching um, YouTube, Raven and Elise's vlog, and work on my bullet journal. For the month of April, I was really slacking on my bullet journal, but basically this is what I use as a planner, um, habit tracker, mood tracker, YouTube video planner, and everything like that. And so I'm working on my spread for May. Let me show you guys what I have so far. So I have my May done and I'm just going to fill in some important dates and I like to color code it based on things like bills, daily tasks, important dates, job interviews, stuff like that. And here I have my habit trackers um, that I still need to fill in some circles. So I like to track things like how many times I work out, close my rings on my Apple Watch, um, intermittent fasting, no eating out, which I struggle with. Trying to wake up before 8 because I have not been to work in about 8 weeks, so it's pretty hard to wake up early. Content creating, which is just filming, editing, anything that has to do with my channel. Reading, which I have been slacking on, and no spending money. Online shopping is very dangerous right now since we're not actually able to go to lots of stores. Then on this side, I'm going to do my mood tracker, and so I'm just going to work on this for a while. It's pretty therapeutic just to chill, listen to a podcast, watch YouTube, and work on this. Um, here's my favorite markers. I love these markers from Zebra, the Mild Liners, which are kind of just like pastel um, highlighters or colored markers. My main pin that I use on my bullet journal is from the same brand as this journal, so it's from the brand Scribbles That Matter. Let's see if we can focus on that. Focus, focus, almost, almost, boom. So scribbles that matter, the fine liner came with this planner that I got on Amazon. I'll link that down below and the thickness is a size four. Um, my other favorite markers that I like to use for bullet journaling, bullet journaling are these Pigma Microns and I got them in a pack that has tons of different sizes. So five is thicker than that one. I have all the way down to 005 and then all the way up to eight and yeah I mostly just use those things pencil for sketching and I just like to bullet journal I'm definitely not an artist but and then I also started um for this year like a favorites page for each month I just kind of put whatever I was really enjoying or really liking so for the month of January sweet potatoes I was eating them for like breakfast lunch and dinner um, for the month of April, some of my favorites were my new MacBook Air. I've been eating a ton of veggie burgers, soy candles. I got some new cactus plants and the skincare brand Verse from Target. I bought a bunch of stuff from that, and so it's kind of cool. Um, I made a travel page of places I want to go, places I've been, but as you guys know how 2020 has been going, so I haven't been anywhere. These are the keys that I typically use for a task, if it's in progress, completed, moved, canceled, and then a little asterisk for important. And I like this bullet journal because it comes with this key page, a couple of index pages, and all the pages at the bottom corners are numbered for you.
Another one of my favorite spreads. Most of these ideas, by the way, I get from Amanda Rach Lee. She's on Instagram and YouTube and does a lot of bullet journaling. Um, I need to keep up with this, but this is basically like a stuff to check out page. And so at the beginning of the year or as the year progresses, I have movies, TV shows, podcasts, and books that I want to read, watch, or listen to. And then as I complete them, I will just fill in the circle. And my goal is to read 10 books this year. So far, I've done four books. I need to keep going. So this is what I'm going to be doing for a while today. So I just finished my mood tracker and I decided it would be cute to do clouds. So I have all 31 days of May and then it's going to be like happy, kind of happy, okay, bad, super bad day and color them in based on the mood for that day. I think I'm going to close the vlog out here now. Basically on Sundays, what I typically like to do is just journal, clean, do laundry, and kind of just get stuff done. But of course, my schedule has not been regular since everything going on has resulted in me not having work for about eight weeks and counting. So I'm definitely going to try to do more of these lifestyle daily type vlogs. Um, honestly, during these times, there's not much interesting stuff going on, but I will try to do anything exciting and vlog that um, right now I'm basically just applying and interviewing for teacher positions and really focusing on my YouTube channel growing it thank you guys so much if you are subscribed I'm so excited to continue growing and hopefully soon I will land my first teacher position so subscribe down below so that you can keep up with all of my videos and hit that bell notification so that you will be notified every time I upload I hope that you guys are staying safe and if you are still working during quarantine thank Thank you guys so much if you're an essential worker push through it i know there's a lot going on right now but we would not be able to function without delivery drivers grocery store workers healthcare professionals so thank you guys who are still working during these times i will see you in my next video bye guys oh.